Wait, um, speaking of wrapping things up, um, I saw your, your yeah, oh. I saw your your TikTok about you using a Snickers oh. wrapper as a condom. No. <laughs> oh, is that a true what? story? Oh god. Jared used a Snickers wrapper as a condom. Um, it was the girls regular idea. regular Wait, or jumbo sized. Okay, God, the story is gonna haunt me for the rest of my life. Mm. <laughs> well, you t- talked about it on. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have. You know. Today's podcast is brought to you by SeatGeek. Get $20 off your first order when you use my code NASH. And Mint Mobile. Get a cell phone plan for just $15 a month when you go to mintmobile.com slash NASH. Guys, what's up? We're here. The All Good Things podcast. Another killer episode with huge stars. Right now, we're moving in. There's a kiss happening between Zach and Jared. The the Dropouts podcast. They're going to make out here so we can finally get some clickbait. Go ahead, guys, whenever you're ready. Brandon, Mm. take your pants off. uh, You ready? (laughs) I was told to just be in the podcast. I wasn't told anything else. I wasn't told about all this. I would have fluffed a little if I knew. (laughs) Jared and I don't make love anymore. It's... It's starting to become. It, it made the whole like business relationship too complicated. You sure. Know? And yeah. then when you see your friend, I don't know, like when you see your friend's genitalia and it's just an absolute cannon on them, right? You don't. It's it's weird when it's in me because like I know it's you. If that makes uh-huh. sense. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. No. Um, that makes but sense. thanks for having us. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for having us. <laughs> thanks for being here. I was. Uh, I've. It, it's. Uh, it's good to have you. I've wanted to have you on for a while. Oh, it doesn't seem like it's the first time you asked. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You ran out of people. Let's just say it out loud, huh? Uh, no, I didn't run out of people. I, I just felt like, um, I don't know, I feel bad asking. Because, like, I feel bad asking people who have podcasts. Oh, because, like, they talk enough. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, you guys got to do an episode that week. Gotcha. No worries. You'll probably come on ours soon. What? How did you guys meet? So, I moved out to LA first, and I found this place on Facebook Marketplace. Yeah. Um, I was exceptionally poor, and I didn't- You've always been poor. Oh, you know me. (laughs) (laughs) If nothing, I'm I'm not consistent. (laughs) I am consistent. Um, So- Found this place. It was 900 square feet, two bedrooms, and I moved in, and there's 10 guys living there. And um, if you turn on the microwave, the air conditioner at the same time, all the power went out. And about, so I've been there for three months, and I was dead inside. I realized the dream was never going to happen. Um, love had lost, <laughs> had lost its luster. 10 and then, guys is insane. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. just ask Jess. That was what, last weekend for you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna talk about Jess and I's love life. Oh yeah, like, did we you know have a lovers. Did you know we had a little thing? What? Yeah, I know. Yeah, like a thruple. Well, no, 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 Jared no, no, was no, not. I was not involved. Oh, okay. I was you excluded. said you pointed to both of you and said her. <laughs> no, so we'll, we'll get into it. Um, right. so, so I've been there. For, so this is this awkward today? A little if, bit. If anything, I can it's, feel the tension. Why do you think my legs are crossed? <laughs> Blood flow is not in my brain right now. I can tell you that much. Um, okay, so Jared. So I moved in a few months after him, January of 2019. And I find the same place. Well, actually, it wasn't the same place, but I, I hear about this company where it's like affordable housing for young creatives, right? Because mm. I'm from Ohio and I found my college apartment on Craigslist and the guy was like, can you pay rent? And I said, yeah, I'm like 17 at the time. And he's like, I was like, yeah, he's like, cool. Here's, here's the lease. You know, that was what I was used to. And then you come here and they run like FBI background checks and yeah. you know, you need a hundred thousand dollars in your bank account to get a studio apartment. Right. So I find this place and he comes in just well, well, bright eyed. So originally this, this is partially why I was, you had hope. This is why I was bright eyed because originally this company also had other locations. They had a house that they showed us that had 40 people in it. I shit you not 40 people living in this house. Literally, like people were sleeping in these like sarcophagus sarcophaguses. Sorry, you know? his word of the day. He's I know. Yeah, I he's practicing that in the in car. There, you know, um, and so <laughs> like they that. go. Actually, we don't have enough room at this place. We're gonna take you to one of our satellite locations where you'll stay there for a few months until room opens up here, and then you can go back to, to the, the house. Sarcophagus. But no, I had a, I, I welcomed you pretty warmly. What was the first thing I said to you? Uh, I said. I reached out my hand. I was like, hey, I'm Jared. And he looks me up and down and just goes, you're just another face to me. (laughs) Oh, wow. Yeah, it still is. 
And one of my favorite stories That's is... That's very you, isn't it? <laughs> uh, it was extra me back then. Um, one I'm of my sure Dahmer st- said that to his victims. <laughs> You're just, another, you just face another face to, to me. <laughs> <laughs> you guys saw my tattoo? <laughs> <laughs> so I was from Ohio and you're from... Born in Vegas. Uh, my mom met a guy on eHarmony. <laughs> I love this story. They, they talked like a few times, a few months, and then he flies out. He gets down on one knee during happy hour at, how old are you? at Margaritaville. I'm 27. <laughs> no, but how old were you then? Oh, I was guy 10. Flies. You're 10. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, he's like, y'all going to come live with me now. <laughs> and so we move across the country to a town of a thousand in South Georgia. Not joking. Right when I get there. Okay. Let me preface this by I was born in Vegas, lived in Vegas my whole life. Um uh, primarily Hispanic in my school, uh, black. Like I didn't understand what racism really was. Right. Um, also, I had a little, I had a little inkling for the tapatio. You know what I mean? <laughs> the ladies, I, I still love Hispanic ladies. If you're out there, um, right? Which but, is why you're hooked up with Jess. Oh, of course, of course. Uh-huh. Got it. Oh yeah, we we're gonna get into that, <laughs> Jess. Goodness, <laughs> she read me the Constitution right in my ear. Anyway, um, so so we fly out there. They have a they have a KKK <laughs> rally <laughs> in the town. Right when I get there. We the people. Sorry. <laughs> we the people. KKK the former These more perfect reveal union. themselves to be self-evident. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. I've got K- it memorized by now. KKK rally. So there's a, so we get to the town, and, you know, we, we learned about the KKK, but I was like, yeah, that was like, what, 600 years ago? I was 10. <laughs> I was like, that's... And then we get there, middle of the town, people in white hoods just saying... Things against my Tapatio sisters. They're like, <laughs> they're like, we got to get these Mexicans out of here because they're taking our jobs and stuff. Right. right. And then I was, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, keep them in, keep them in. I love them. Mm. Um, but it was one of the most wild things I had ever seen. It's a wild thing to see when you're 10. Yeah. Guys, we got a great episode for you today. I have been on tour this weekend. I'll be in, in Ohio. I'll be in Columbus and Toledo. All the tour dates are at jasonnashtour.com. Go check that website. And it's a, go to the link in the description and check that. And you can see if I'm coming to a city near you. How did the stepdad turn out? Oh, they didn't <laughs> stay together. Who would have thought? Oh, and then, the, but you stayed in the town. I stayed in the town. How yeah. long mm-hmm. were they together? Five years. Five years. Okay. Yeah. Um, you had a stepdad, right? I did. He was not part of the KKK. <laughs> uh, never My, <laughs> what? <laughs> but South <laughs> South Georgia is a different beast. Uh, my old principal and I are Eskimo brothers. Um, <laughs> oh. Oh, one, one time a student. Okay. Your principal? Oh, yeah. So he's in jail. That's you're what you're thinking, saying. What? No, he got, uh, he got promoted to <laughs> oh, super, uh, superintendent. superintendent. Oh, right. Um, and then this other time, this kid was mouthing off to a teacher in class. Yeah. So afterwards, they met on a dirt road and just fought it out. Yeah, they don't do detention down there. The most <laughs> southern thing I've ever heard. Okay, okay. So how was the kid and how old was the teacher? Uh, the kid was probably, you know, 16, 17. And the teacher was late 30s. Dude, it's so funny. I don't know if it was did like... people watch? Oh, yeah. People... people <laughs> well, it was like, at, it was at, it was high, it was at a high school party. I yeah. don't know if like he knew he was going to be there. He showed up, and then they just duked it out. And what happened? Um, the teacher won, <laughs> and then he got a conscience, I guess, and then went to the principal and was like, "I can't be doing. I can't be teaching these kids anymore." <laughs> I can't. <laughs> <laughs> and, but so you know, he uh, he lived the high and mighty life, and he he fired himself, I guess you could say. Wow. And this other time, this is why this is a true story and wild. So my friends are all hanging out, and. Uh, bunch of guys hanging out and my friend philip he he leaves the party and he leaves his chapstick there and if your friend leaves their chapstick around when you're a teenage boy all the other boys are going to rub their balls on it and give it back to you right that's just part of it as right. you do that's what so happens it, yeah it was my friend skyler's mission you're going to give this chapstick back to philip so he puts it on his face and he, skyler didn't have it he threw it away well the next day he looks in his mom's purse and he sees the chapstick he's like mom where please tell me this is a recent buy please tell me this is a, a recent purchase she's like no it must have fallen off the counter into uh into the trash it was on the top and he's like not only have my balls every friendship i've ever had their balls have been on there too. So she she gets mad and she recruits two of the high school teachers. Um, the next day, she buys Skylar and I um, food. And we're like, wow, this is really nice. Your mom's so sweet. And she gets us drinks. So we eat, we get done, we have the drinks. 
And then she brings these two heavy set teachers, like good old Southern boys, beards up and, and they're like, so what'd you think about the food? And we're like, it was good. And they're like, and then she goes, you see these boys? <laughs> they both dip their balls for 30 seconds into both of your drinks and then you drink it. <laughs> and we were like, ha ha ha. No. Good one. To this day, she still says that that is wow. true. She's like, no, yeah, hundred percent. We did it. <laughs> they really do do. Uh, do they do things different there. Mm. Oh, wait. Can I tell one more that story? That wasn't that long ago, wait, Zach. Which story? No, I moved here five years ago. Right. Um, when we, do the stories stop? <laughs> when do these, these like? When yeah, do they? Because you, you every do a every one man show. Yeah, I know. This is great. So we, is that what your movies are going to be about? Yeah. Well, Honestly, I have this. I have this oh, yeah. show idea I'm, I'm writing now called God's Country, and and w well, the first episode is going to be about. Um, we have this thing in our town called Cow Patty Bingo. Yeah. Do you know what that is? I don't. Okay, so they lay out um, maybe a field. We'll say it's at the local middle school. They change around the field depending if it's corn season or not. Um, and they have like little checkered squares with numbers in them. It's kind of like what they do for like the Super Bowl and yeah, stuff yeah, like right. that. So, yeah, right. so it was a big thing to the town. You come out, you pay money, and you get to pick which numbered squares you want. Mm -hmm. And then um, whoever you put a cow in the field, and whatever number the cow pooped on, you'd win all the money. Mm -hmm. Well, one year, I mean... Linda, she uh, she <laughs> used laxatives, and she gave them to the cow, and she bought all the the numbers like near where the cow was going to go out, so she won all the money, and she did it like two years in a row. It was a big conspiracy, and everybody um yeah freaked That's out. That's a big conspiracy. In the <laughs> That's the oh, biggest yeah. thing going on. She, in the almost, town. she yeah, almost got ran out of town. Right. She almost got ran out of town because the right. cow was spraying when usually it's a nice <laughs> yeah yeah right. it's a nice patty. So you you that was your experience as yeah. a kid growing up. And your experience in Ohio, was it similar or like, was Talk it just the pretty parents compared to that? My life in Ohio was so mundane, you mm -hmm. know, um, like teachers weren't fighting kids and well, like on live. dirt roads, you know, uh, I don't think anyone was Eskimo bros with, uh, their principal or superintendent. Um, I mean like some of the, I guess the most interesting parts is like, I grew up with two moms and um you did yeah oh wow so julian really april interesting. shout out so who <laughs> julian april julian april Julie's the birth mom tell me about the cheese story <laughs> oh my god okay so so before april there is uh there's a woman before her we'll call her t um and t had a uh a son who we'll call e <laughs> now i was when they dated i was like four or five or something like that um that's when they started dating they dated for like four years so i was like eight or nine at this point in the story i was like seven or eight anyway e was a sophomore in high school at this at this point and so uh my mom and t go out to have a date night and they put e in charge of babysitting me now he was like he was a, a skater dude you know like kind of a punk teenager and he didn't want the responsibility of babysitting me. And so he called me upstairs and he was like, Jared, like, come look at this thing. Uh, and so I, I run up and he's like, dude, look, it's in the closet. And he, he throws me in there and then the door locks <laughs> on the outside. And so he locks me in the closet and I was it, like, it's crazy. It's because I didn't think you had locked closets in your home just based on the parents. Yeah. <laughs> you know I mean? um, and so he locks me in there and I'm like crying. I'm like, let me out, let me out. And he's like, I'm, I'm gone. You know, I'm right. see ya. I'll, I'll be back in a few <laughs> hours. I need to call a kid upstairs. Hey, come on up here. <laughs> <laughs> and then just throws, it's like tricking a dog into yeah. its crate at night, you right. know, a little easier though. <laughs> <laughs> and so he like, he invites like a bunch of his friends over. Mm -hmm. um, and so they're all like hanging out or whatever. And it's been like a few hours and I'm like crying. I'm like, e, I'm so hungry. Just give me something to eat. And I wait a few minutes and all of a sudden a single slice of craft singles <laughs> <laughs> slides under the door <laughs> and I'm sitting there. I'm like trying to ration this one piece of cheese. I'm like folding it in half and making like tiny little squares. And I'm like, I'm eating it. I'm going through like the closet and finding like any sort of like board game or whatever to play. Um, yeah, that was, that was a sad moment, but Oh, and my mom came home and ripped him a new one really like i had never my mom 
like I have a very similar like disposition as my mom, like very cheery, very positive, you know, rarely also gets likes angry. women, also <laughs> likes women. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, um, and she came home and I had never seen like the mama bear side of her. Sure. Um, and that was kind of like one of the coolest, but also most frightening moments of my life. I was like, Oh, she's got a lot of like potential in her, you know. Yeah, for, it's scary uh, when your parent flips out. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You see that side of them. Yeah, that dog. My my dog bit me once. Oh, my father went. Fuck shit. I bet. Yeah. Um, Tom Zagura has a funny bit about that. He he's comparing like people that say like their dogs are like their like actual children you yeah. know and he's like the difference between my kid and a dog is that if my dog bit my kid i would drown that yeah, dog. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you that. know yeah um it's really funny yeah i couldn't see and oh that's right i couldn't picture like what a father's rage would look like do you know your in, dad no you so don't. i i was born through artificial insemination mm. um oh, ever heard of it so my mom like picked me out of a catalog <sighs> Uh, and the wow. only name I know my father by is CB270. <laughs> <laughs> and so I always joke, I'm like, He's oh, a Star yeah. Wars extra. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's nice. C3PO's estranged brother. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so, but yeah, it was like my mom, she just, she went to the, she was single at the time. She was uh, 32, 33, and she was like, I want to have a kid. And so she was like at the sperm bank and she was actually deciding between two guys and the nurse came over and she was like, listen, I'm really not supposed to do this, but CB 270 is an absolute sweetheart. We <laughs> love when he comes in. We love when he just comes in and, <laughs> <laughs> comes and, out. Just, and comes mm-hmm. out. And so, yeah. And so that was like what influenced her decision. So like my mom, she, she tried seven times like to have me um with like the same guy like, the same guy's specimen and uh and on the last time they just fully expected my mom to have to come back and so they're just like oh yeah we'll just charge you the next time we see you but of course that was the one time that it took right. and so my mom always likes to joke that i'm technically stolen property uh-huh, uh-huh. um oh wow and uh yeah, I mean that was damn. That was that. And then you started doing the podcast. How long have you been doing the podcast? Yeah, so we're doing the podcast for a little over three years, and then Jared, he's been using it to his advantage with women, which I thought has been a little strange. <laughs> um, he's actually been porking somebody in the friend group. Do you want to say it out loud? Uh, I'm not going to say first it and out last loud. name. No, no, <laughs> you better not either. Don't say it. <sighs> she Jess Sukir. <here. laughs> no, you that's, that's, that's Jess that. too. That's me. That's me. That's that's what Zach. happened? Did you really hook up with Jess? Jess, you want to come over here? <laughs> um, sit on my lap. Yeah, if you want to sit. Wait, are you guys really, really dating or something? Yeah, we're actually, we're actually just Here we go. Right now and- uh, would you mind handing her the mic just for a second, Jared? There you go. Okay. Oh, just so sorry. Um, so Jess and I. <laughs> so thank you. So Jess and I, we matched on a little app called Hinge, didn't we? Did. We, we did, didn't we? And you know, at first we thought it was a joke. We're just throwing how you doings back and forth, and oh, you find any love on here? And then one night. I don't know if she was drinking, but she she hit, was. She, <laughs> <laughs> she, she hits we, me up and says, "Are you up?" And, I did, and I was like, "What a time to be alive!" Yeah, but I didn't know. You know, I didn't want to be res- disrespectful to the friend group. To you, I know this. You I know, don't give a fuck. <laughs> and that's I what I don't care what Jess does. And that's what I wrote down. Um, this isn't a father daughter situation. So, <laughs> so, you, know, you have to ask my permission. Well, to- <laughs> I feel like I need to send a text. So she comes over, and dead sober. And I'm like, mm. oh. I had not been drinking. She had not been drinking. Okay. Mm. And um, I'm like, do you want to kind of, should we watch a film? Like, <laughs> I don't know how to set this up. Um, what time was this at? It was like, a little past midnight. Maybe later. <laughs> Is this real? I can't one, tell. It was like one. I really can't tell. It was like 1 a.m. Yeah, it was like 1. Um, okay. And one thing leads to another. And um, like a mechanic, I popped that clitoral hood. <laughs> And uh, uh, is, this is all mm, fake. I don't know there's if no it is. Way, there's no way Zach's coming on here I th- and saying all this if it was real. Wait, why? There's no way. Why? Because there's, there's and there's no way that Jess would let him. This is this is a prank on me, right, Ferris? Oh, this is a prank on me. But go ahead, I like it. <laughs> go ahead. Um, 
I, I, I guess, yeah, you just, you just. <laughs> All right, Jess, is this what happened? He popped your anyways, clitoral is this what happened? <laughs> You can't say that to an employee. Yeah. Um, right. um, yeah, I guess one thing led to another. And what did you think about? My size. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my size. <laughs> I mean, obviously, it's, it's not Ferris's size, I assume, but... It's, <laughs> what did you think you about know? my stories about the KKK? <laughs> you know, it, was, it was all right. It was all right. It was all right. Was all right. <laughs> He's sitting right next to you. I thought we had a decent time. It was decent. Okay. Did you stay the night? Or did you get up and leave? I left at like 5 a.m. Pretty much stay the night. 5 a.m. Well, we did did like, you guys wrap at 4.30 and then you left at 5? Or you go like... <laughs> we didn't wrap around. it up at all, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, we we did, we did. I'm I'm worried about STDs when it comes to this one. So um, <laughs> we 100 percent wrapped it up. Yeah. Uh, okay. And then what else happened? What was your how what was your end of it? You liked it or no? I was it. And, and this is a, this is like the first time we've seen each other since. Yeah, it was it was fine. Well, you were really eager to get him here yesterday. <laughs> no, I, was. I thought it was, <laughs> well, I, was. I no, think she's a little bit more I, I said I said. Uh, I said, "Oh, we got to we got to call those guys and get them on the show." She said, "I'll call them." Yeah, you know I was like, I'll, I'll call. Them. I got I was eight like, I calendar them. invites. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I hope you. We're we're doing this for the next two months. You know, we're we're coming back every week. Yeah, I, I, I scheduled them weekly. It Great. was like a recurring calendar Wait, invite. Did you watch her walk through the door? Uh, no, I'm a grandpa. I go to bed at like nine o'clock. So really, um, for real, nine o'clock. I if I can, I go to bed like <laughs> at ten. Nine or ten, somewhere in between. There. Do you think awesome. it'll? Do you think it'll happen again, or do you think that was maybe a one-time occurrence? You can be honest here. Um, you know, I'm like, I'm, I'm kind of desperate right now, so like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking it'll happen again. Gotcha. Is there something more than physical with you guys? You guys like each other? Um, we've we haven't done anything really emotionally, yeah. astute yet. Mm. Yeah. Do you uh, guys think we're compatible? Jason, <laughs> why are you shaking your head? No. <laughs> Oh, sorry. I'm, Zach was like looking for Brandon's sorry, answer and going. He's having a, a he just has a twitch. Yeah, I just got a twitch. Right. <laughs> I don't know. Zach's a Zach's a, um, a a strange guy to figure out. He is really strange, right? Because like, there's but, like, like that's there's what a lot drew of me to him. What is it? That's what drew me to him. Do you do you feel like what do you? Th there's a lot of layers to him. I feel like I'm in a fever dream. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm being fucking honest, I'm just like, <laughs> am I still asleep? Am I gonna wake up? This is wait, like so. This is real. Yeah, we just wanted to wait to come out on the podcast. Dead ass. Dead. Ah. <laughs> hey, we're good liars, though, right? Pretty good, though. Mm. Thank you. Thank Did you. a really good job. Um, no, this. I wish I hadn't said dead ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. I hate dead ass. <laughs> yeah, it ruins everything. It ruins everything. It does. Um. <sighs> I knew it. I'm, I apologize. I mean, no, it's okay. It was a good run. It was a good run. So and was, was there clickbait now? Yes. Right. Was there planning to this bit? Like, were you guys upstairs talking about it? or No, no. I, I saw her on the floor, and I said, let's run with it. Right. Yeah. It's all improv. We're really good. Oh, wow, you we're guys are improv. Good. I bought it. Thank so you no, so much. We have an no, improv. I feel like it happened, and they're now trying to cover it up. <laughs> 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 all right, here's what we'll do. Give me, a, give me a paper and a pen. I'll draw you naked from memory, and we'll see if it matches up. <laughs> let's okay? get that, that yeah, Jerry, yeah. the lie detector guy in here or something. <laughs> Easy. Today's podcast is brought to you by SeatGeek. Yes, the one and only SeatGeek, the best ticketing app out there. The one and only, the place to buy tickets, the place to sell tickets. And I don't have to tell you guys how much I love SeatGeek and how much I've used it over the years and how much they've supported me over the years. They've sponsored so many of my videos. They were the first sponsor on this podcast and they're still here today. Thank God for SeatGeek for keeping the lights on here. We love you guys so much. So please go support SeatGeek. Go get some tickets this summer. It's a win-win for you because you can go out and you can get tickets immediately, day of, two weeks before, a month before. Go see Beyonce. Go see Lollapalooza. Go see Taylor Swift. These are the big tickets that are coming to your city, and you can get them right on SeatGeek, and you have an amazing night. Also, sporting events are on there. Also, plays. I saw Hamilton, thanks to SeatGeek. And right now, if you use my code NASH, you're going to get $20 off your first order. Amazing. Okay, so go. Go download the SeatGeek app. Have it there on your phone. You can do everything on there, and it's just totally amazing. You can make some amazing memories for yourself. So my thanks to SeatGeek for sponsoring this podcast. And uh, yeah, all right, back to the show. Wait, um, speaking of wrapping things up, um, I saw your, your yeah, oh. I saw your your TikTok about you using a Snickers oh. wrapper, the condom. No. <laughs> Can you call it up, Ferris? <laughs> Oh, uh, is that a true what? story? Oh God! Jared used a Snickers wrapper as a condom. Um, it was the girls like regular, the, regular wait, or jumbo it sized? Uh, no, definitely regular. Like no. well, he's got to talk into the mic, Jess. You oh. got to share with him. Oh, yeah, sorry. 
Okay, God, the story is going to haunt me for the rest of my life. Mm. <laughs> well, you t- talked about it on Twitter. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have. You know, I was young. Isn't social media the worst? I was oh, young. Like, this will be dumb. funny. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and then you, you're like, oh, why then, did I post that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. See, I was young, dumb, and new to social media and just thought. Living with like, a heroin addict. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and our live show was so fun because everyone went and brought a Snickers bar. And he, did, <laughs> he didn't know, and they just pelted him on stage. Dude. If you guys are coming, okay, July 27th in New York, if you guys come, please bring another Snickers bar because I want to do it again. Yeah, that's fun. Oh, no. <laughs> that's really fun. Oh, it's so fun. Yeah. You ever had 200 Snickers bars thrown at you? All right, run through the story. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. It was forceful, right? You held her down. No, shut up. It was her idea. Okay, so we were young. Um we were we were like 17 or 18. Uh I was seeing this girl. We had just gone to the movies and afterwards we were, you know, getting a little frisky mm-hmm. in the car and um she wanted to take it to the next level and I was like I was like, I don't have a condom. And so we're like scavenging around the car trying to find one. And we can't find anything. But there's there's a Snickers bar <laughs> sitting in, in the cup holder. And she goes, she goes, well, we could use this. And I was like, oh, that's funny. Like, haha, that was really funny. And she goes, no, like, seriously, we could use this. And I was like, what? what the hell are you talking about? And I grill her on it for like a, a few minutes. And I realized I was like, this girl's a hundred percent serious. Mm. And so there, there's some like, there's some technique involved with it, you know, like in case you guys have, haven't done it before in case you guys haven't done it before. <laughs> um, so you, you gotta like open it at the end, kind of like a bag of chips, you think. know, yep. and then you slide it out in back into the cup holder. Um, uh, if you're in a car, uh, and then you, in order to like actually get it on, you have to like tear up the side of the seam, yeah. you know? And so then it slides on at, but because it's torn, you have to like, you have to hold it there. So you like, you keep the top intact, but you hold it there. Um, and yeah, so that's basically, I wish this story was fake. <laughs> <laughs> you can, you, wait, what, what do you say when you say if something's fake or not? Dead ass. Yeah. Dead ask ass. him that. Dead ass. Dead ass. <laughs> Isn't that wild? And then afterwards, he didn't use it. He didn't go. And Snickers satisfied. And I think he missed a golden opportunity. So you, well, because Snickers did not satisfy. In yeah, that because moment. how could that possibly be lubricated? It was no. It was like 30, 45 seconds of just like uncomfortable. <laughs> you know, like trying to make it work, and sure. then realizing that it's like really funny we're putting plastic like you know spiky ended plastic up her did it go in? huh did it go in oh uh, yeah it went in but like it was not good it was not it was just awkward because like car sex is already awkward you know and it was just a, it was yeah, it was a whole thing and so she drove stick mm. yeah she drove stick that day not mm. well and not long but um yeah after that we just called it yeah let's, let's cut to a clip <laughs> there it is does this make you want to have with your more or less oh yeah definitely more, more. <laughs> hell yeah bro was I'm it a snickers bar was it a snickers bar was it a tootsie roll <laughs> <laughs> be honest honestly i think a tootsie roll would have been better because then you could have just like wrapped it and yep. twisted it at the end yeah definitely you know how does, how does that work work with friends with like all, all your young friends like you guys hook up with each other and stuff <laughs> how do you youngins how do you youngins like, you guys it's just it's just balls like, to the wall mean, all like, of you guys like let's say, let's say Zach. both of them now so what <laughs> say it again i didn't hear you oh nothing oh, no, i'm just joking don't worry say it again okay. say it again did you say you're gonna have both of them don't worry. no mm. how does that work like i suppose if you wanted to hook up with jess that that would be like a problem would you want me to bring you a consent contract? Yeah. Ooh. And That's have a great him sign idea. it too. Down okay. the road, right? Because then you would yeah. see her at parties and stuff, right? Is that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I just want so, her so legs you... to do like my parents and legally separate. <laughs> so I'll bring the consent contract and we'll be good to go. Um, no, if if we were to have sex, I mean, that's we just got to put it out there. Do you think it'd be awkward between us afterwards? Like, do you think we could sit here and just talk on a podcast like we're just common familiars? I mean, we are doing that right now. So. Yeah, no, not. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. No, you'd be mortified if yeah. that happened. Yeah. What do you mean? Mortified? You wouldn't sit here and broadcast it if it was true. <laughs> I mean, in 
never know. How well do you know her? We'll be back on next week. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give you guys an honest review. We have a couple of clips to watch. Do we have anything good, Ferris? Have you guys seen this? What's this that? is so Oh, cool. my God. Insane. Yes. What is this? This is a whole thing. Hobby horse. This is... Hobby horse championship. This is what pure yeah, that, that adds up. delusion looks like. I mean, they 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 have a little play horse. Yep. And then they're jumping up and down, doing like a routine, and now they're gonna notice jump the crowd. Over. Notice <laughs> how thin that crowd is. <laughs> seven people. Yeah, Which honestly, people. that last jump is like an impressive feat of athleticism. I like, feel like everyone in here is it. kink shaming right now. <laughs> um, yeah. And they didn't watch. I'm honestly surprised all of those people showed up for yeah. that. Like, Is it I Mr. Guess Happy, that... Happy Hands? Mis Mr. Hands. Mr. Hands. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Back in the man. day. They were all traumatized from that video. Now they do this. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> honestly, I could see. That was really impressive. That's what that I'm good. saying. Like that last <laughs> jump right there. Even without the horse. horse. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah. I mean, but that's just called a vault in the Olympics, isn't it? You just vault over something. Yes. Without the horse, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> without right. the. Yeah. But is it more impressive that they're doing it with a horse between their? Is it legs? more impressive that they have a mental disorder while they're doing it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Just because their buses were half the size doesn't mean they are not people. <laughs> <laughs> Today's podcast is brought to you by Mint Mobile. Yes, Mint Mobile. Unbelievable. I love Mint Mobile. They, they're the company that does all those cool ads. But Mint Mobile is a cool brand, and I'm so happy that they've come on to advertise here. Signing your life away to a big wireless provider is kind of like being trapped on a roller coaster from hell. Sure, it looked fun at first. They probably threw in a free phone, but now you can't get off. Month after month of insane bills and unexpected thrills like overages and surprise fees. If that sounds like your current big wireless plan, it's time to get off the ride with Mint Mobile. For a limited time, wireless plans from Mint Mobile are just $15 a month. That's unlimited talk, text, and data. Did you hear me, guys? For just $15 a month. Think about all the money you're going to save, guys, if you can move your wireless plan down. Think about all that money you can save. You can put that towards bills. Put the money away and, and take a vacation at the end of the year. Mint Mobile is here to rescue you with premium wireless plans for just $15 a month. Say bye-bye to your big wireless plans, jaw-dropping monthly bills, and unexpected overages. Ditch big wireless with Mint Mobile's limited time deal and get premium wireless service. To get your new unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door free go to mintmobile.com slash nash that's mintmobile.com slash nash cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash nash guys go check them out go uh go see what mint mobile is all about my thanks to mint mobile and uh, yeah okay back to the podcast have you ever been to like a uh, sporting event for your kids oh yeah all the time i sure okay. hope so yeah and <laughs> yeah. not yet when you're watching no, they them, want the address <laughs> when you're watching them you go like oh wow they're so like good at this or are you just watching because they're your kids you know what i mean is all are all the parents they're like oh this is like an entertaining game or is it just like well oh, yeah, undoubtedly children. the kids get better right so you are you are you're, you're there for that so yeah. after the you know by the 10th game they've gotten better and you're like okay she's good now mm. so that, that that level is good i mean see your kid win at anything is is great you ever take bets against your own children i do yeah i've lost thousands <laughs> <on Charlie>. yeah. <laughs> oh, i told wyatt he would never make it as a rock star right yeah <laughs> so we'll see um uh, this was oh, funny, oh, this was oh, funny. jonah's tiktok i thought was really funny oh yeah i saw this lena the plug huh. am i the only one that hasn't seen this yet god i gotta get one of these things Guys, guess who I'm shooting with today? <laughs> He's the biggest one yet. What'd you say at the beginning? We got him. He's here. the biggest one yet. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh. Did you guys used to see it would have been funnier if Jonah hadn't lost weight. Oh, he's still he's huge. still he's pretty big. No, but he's not even that big. It's yeah, he, he just he, looks like every uh, every American. <laughs> <laughs> it's like every yeah, guy that goes to he, Home he Depot can't have that weight on him. That's not good. I know. Yeah. Back in the day <laughs> when you guys used to react to his penis, yeah, um, was that was there, were those genuine reactions of how? Yeah, Zach, it's really fucked up. It's yeah. like, um, <laughs> um, have you ever played? He could, he could have fit in the Tootsie Roll. Rapper. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you yeah. ever played yeah. baseball? Too big. I have played okay, and, and on a bat, sometimes they would put these rings on the bat to make it heavier when you warm oh, yeah. up. Yeah. Okay, so imagine one of those baseball rings. Okay. Right? And then in the middle, a penis uh, coming out mm. of the ring. I don't know. The, can you pull up what the ring looks like? So it's, like a, it's like a round. We're going length or girth? A, a round donut. And then in the middle, like a, like a little like mushroom 
wide, short but fat penis. Right. At least oh it's, my god. And but... it's uh, it's it's something to see, man. Mm. It's something to see. It really makes odd. him look like he's gigantic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you ever seen a baseball bat? <laughs> Wait, we're not talking about the bat. We're not talking about the bat. We're talking about the ring that goes on a baseball bat. Yeah, yeah, well, like, I, that, like that, like that, like that, <laughs> like a ring. That's that a go. ring. Yeah, I was just about to say, like that. That wouldn't fit. That would like not fit. Like his balls aren't there. What does that what? mean? Like it's just like a. It's just like in a. Like, I don't know if his balls are up here. Wow. Or, and, he, and he loves it? He, he likes showing people? Um. I guess. I, I, I guess. Maybe back then he was like probably just trying to like do something funny for the videos. I'm right. Kidding. It's not yeah. like now. He, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he wants to see it. it. It's not like now, now he's like walking around like let me show you my cock. Yeah. yeah. Right. Do, have you guys, who has the biggest one in the group? We just talked we about this. We had this conversation. Yeah, I, brought, I brought this up. Oh, who, well, who has this? Sorry. Yes. Yeah, I didn't bring it up like that. Oh. I said, I said, why don't guys show each other their dicks? Mm. Oh yeah, we were just talking big about Big ego this. thing. It's, yep. it's tough. Definitely yep. big. It, yeah. it makes your whole character make sense and there's like this, oh, got it. That makes sense. Todd. Right, of course he does. what we came up with. The stallion. Yeah, I've never seen Scott's penis. I don't know. I've never seen your penis. Yeah, you yeah. have. No, I haven't. Yeah, you have. <laughs> when? At Sundance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. Right. Wait. That it's was okay. your penis? Yeah. Oh, okay. At the writing lab. Well, I can tell you what Zach's is. Yeah. Right. Oh, shit. Yeah, in excruciating detail. It's like... The Tootsie Roll, oh. but like the... <laughs> but like the long skin. The like the biggest one. Yeah, the, the, the very thin one. one. Yeah. Right, right. You have a girlfriend though, right? Oh, let's it's get into not it. like official or anything. I've mm. just been... I've Jess been... who knows who she is. And you don't have a girlfriend? No. What? Right. Is that okay? What? That's <laughs> totally, it's totally what? fine. It's okay. What? What? Oh, no. We only hooked... And we can do other things, but I kind of just liked you for your body, if that's all right. <laughs> Honestly, that's okay. Mm. Good. But you had a girlfriend for a while, right? I did. I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the devious laugh. I did. Which one? Do and you... What happened there? Oh, what happened yeah, there? Yeah. I want to go in, head in on Jared here. We don't need here. to, yeah. Yeah. Don't need to go it. in. Are you talking about my high school girlfriend, obviously? What? No. No, when I was Your when I was in high school? Was in high school? Well, she, well, the one I'm dating now is. No, the, but when I was in high school, I had a girlfriend too. Is that the one you're referring to? Yes, yes. Oh, obviously. That one. Oh, I have a... I do have a strange prom story that made me you, think of I that. I want to hear your prom story, but let me ask, do you like being single? Is it all right? Um, <laughs> I think I'm a little I, bit of a romantic. Uh, yeah. You strike me as someone that is the complete opposite of a romantic. <laughs> I don't know why, dude. No, it was, Your first thing you said to him was like, you're just another face to me. <laughs> I, I mean, no, how, I are am, you, how is that no, going to be? He, I will That's, vouch for him, not huh. not from my own experience, but I do know that Zach is a romantic. Wishes. In what sense? He hasn't, He he's... He does nice things and like is very uh, sure. romantic. Not for me, but for other girls. <laughs> <laughs> I think you and Zach might be a little similar in that. I'm in what, super in int that you can look at Zach and be like, "Oh, that guy's probably got like no feeling inside of him." Right. But he probably does. And mm. I do the same thing with you. I assume you have no feeling, but I know you do. Right. Yeah. Right. So it's probably the no, same. No, I'm super intentional. Like, uh, if I'm having a conversation, I genuinely would rather have a conversation with someone than like hook up yep. or like a really good conversation. If the conversation is bad, let's hook up. But, um, <laughs> but you know, just learning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, you, you know, um, just learning everything you can about that person. And like, my dream is to find the perfect human to have a partnership with mm -hmm. where it's like, yeah. yeah, I know eventually the looks will fade, but if I love them in every other arena of life and any going to the grocery store is better cause they're there that, wow. I mean, that is better to me than money than anything you can think of. Just like having someone that gets you inside out, Damn. which is definitely tough to find, but guys hinge, go on hinge, <laughs> Los Angeles, Age 25 to 30. <laughs> and there he is. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi I'm Zach. And this is my dating profile. <laughs> Apparently, I'm, I'm also gay. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I yeah, I love this stuff. Like, I, I don't really tell the person, but whoever, maybe I'm talking to somebody or dating, um, I, ha I keep a little notes tab. And, like, these are all their favorite things. And when they go to a restaurant, this oh. is what they order. This mm -hmm. is their little, like, this is the about them. places they frequent, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah this is what they frequent. Yeah, this is what time they go to bed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is where the like kids go to school. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is where a dirtbag ex husband lives. <laughs> this is a nice place to bury her. <laughs> yeah. That's soft cool. dirt. Yeah. That's romantic. Soft it's dirt. romantic stalking. Yeah. You know? I mean, yeah. Dude, it's you, obsession, you know, love. Is there much of a difference? Do you get labeled as a psychopath sometimes? Yeah. <laughs> 
I don't know why. I think I, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just bad at it. A lot of people think I'm emotionless. I'm expressionless. I think I've got the is. emotions. Yeah. Yeah. It's a sociopath. Not necessarily. A lot of people uh, can't control. Like, they don't know what emotion they're making on their face. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you think you're, like, really happy and smiling, but you're just blank. No, I genuinely don't know what my laugh sounds like, which is kind of sad. But I feel empathy. That's oh, the most okay. depressing yeah. sentence. Do it. Do his laugh. Do his laugh. <laughs> wait no hold on <laughs> i don't even wait, i don't know what his, laugh. i don't know what his laugh sounds like it's kind of it's kind of goofy like that no but that's not even like a, does he not laugh a lot like i feel like not i even like genuinely i put that laugh on <laughs> sometimes you want to make someone else feel better like i'll watch a comedy show be i'll think it's the best thing in the entire world but I won't laugh at it. Yeah. I'll just be like, this is, that was really, really good. Right. Oh yeah. Like right. when we would go to like the laugh factory or something and it was like, you still had to wear masks everywhere. Yep. He was like, this is perfect for me because now I don't get singled out for not laughing, even though I find it funny. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know? Oh, and I'll get comments. Oh, oh, when everybody else makes a joke, Zach doesn't laugh. Cause he's trying to be the funniest in the room. I'm like, right. I just, I just genuinely, it didn't. You're dead inside. Uh, yeah. I, it didn't curdle <laughs> my clan fancy. rally. <laughs> yeah, ten years old, yeah. You forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they tried to attach me to the cross; they were burning. Right. <laughs> oh wait. Oh, I wanted oh, to do. I do have a crazy video. I went to when uh when I was a senior for spring break. We went to Myrtle Beach, and it was around yeah. like Easter time, and we were dr- we drove there from Cincinnati, and uh, in the middle, I don't know where we were, but they legitimately had three people up on crosses. Um, and just like tied there what? and like people gathered around, like all taking pictures and stuff. Were they protesting something? No, they, it was just like a celebration. They were punishing somebody. It was, uh, hold on. I'll find it. I'll find it. I've thought about this bit for a while of God, not letting people in heaven cause they wore crosses. He's like, that was what I was tortured on. <laughs> like, Oh, if I was killed with a guillotine, would you guys wear that around your neck? That was Jesus. That was on a cross. You heathen. That was Jesus. But aren't they all one? The Holy Trinity. Wait, what's the no, bit? Not really. What's the bit? Thank you. Huh? What's the bit? Well, just talking about like God, not letting him into heaven. Cause they wore crosses and like, they right. like yeah. praise crosses. It's like, that's what they used to torture me. Like that's my right. worst memory. Oh, it's tri- right. It's triggering <laughs> right. to, to look at. Jew. <laughs> You're Jewish. <laughs> yeah. His son Jesus was on a cross and was killed. Mel Gibson made a movie about it. Um, uh, are you Jewish as well? No, I'm uh, Jewish. He's so Buddhist. Much Jewish. Yeah. Buddhist. I wish I was Buddhist. That sounds way cooler than being. Anything you can else. be a Buddhist. All you gotta do is get on a Melrose and, and pray. <laughs> I'm a libertarian. A couple, a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but who are you guys voting for in 2024? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> who knows? I, who's even running? You know, mm-hmm. gonna we won't be alive by then anyway. Probably, yeah. Seriously, see that video of Biden licking a little kid? Oh, we wait. Can cut this if we want, but no, put it on. I have. Have seen you? That. It's oh, it's just no. really wild stuff, man. Let's see. It's really wild stuff. What happened? He licked a little kid. He licked. Uh, he like nibbled a little kid who was crying because he was afraid. A big whiff. Big whiff of the old hair. Because he loves smelling but, kids. That's really mean, weird. But I mean, well, let me see the video. But I mean, granddads do that. Yeah. But like, <laughs> I don't know about that, man. The granddad. He is the president <laughs> of the United <laughs> States. So he takes a little nipple. Uh, nibble, 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 nibble. And then a little, wait, hold on, hold on. And then the kid is sniff. like, and big the, sniff. The kid is repulsed by him. <laughs> I mean. That's like going to be a I core mean, trauma he, thing for her. Old people do that shit. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, I do agree it's really weird, but Strange. like I feel like I've seen a lot of old people Thank do you that. Jess. Like yeah. weird, like Were like, they the president of the United <laughs> no, States? But, uh, maybe he for, maybe he forgot they he were. was the president. They were okay. He's just like demonstrative. Right. Like okay. it's not right. I get it. Like yeah. don't do that. Sure. But, but like old people you guys weren't around. Like shit was crazy in the eighties. Have you guys ever met a president? I I am yeah, from a town sex. where a president uh I lived right next to where the president used to live when he was a kid, Richard Nixon. Wow. Clemente was Heard him. No, Yorba Linda. That's not his question. <laughs> <laughs> Yorba Linda. I thought it was San Clemente he was in. No, Yorba Linda. Yorba Linda, yeah, yeah. I know Yorba Linda. Richard Have you? Have you ever met the president? That's why he asked. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Great setup. Not a yeah, big deal. For your own story. <laughs> yeah. I want to hear. Oh, we just FaceTimed for a TikTok video once. With Biden? Uh, no, it was with uh, Obama. Really? Oh, with yeah. Obama. Um, we could cool have had one. Biden on uh, the podcast on what? views and uh, David said no. <laughs> <laughs> Too political. Wow. 
wild. <laughs> what? My old manager, Jack Reed, he'll text me from time to time. He'll he'll just text me. He'll be like, can you fucking believe David's a no to Biden? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but wait, it was on, wait it, actually? It was on Zoom. Do you ever think like, hey, so we I used to have Zoom one now. of the biggest podcasts in the absolute world? We say what? Do you ever think about like, hey, I used to have one of the biggest podcasts Oh in my the God, world. all the time. And now you're in a shed? <laughs> all the time. <laughs> <laughs> no, it gave me a complex because like right. he walked away from millions of dollars and all he had to do was talk to me for 40 minutes a week. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I'm still baffled. Up. And, my, and Jack will, he'll text me. He'll be like, <laughs> he'll be like, David walked away. He'll give me figures. He'll be, he walked away from 10 to $20 million. He's like, insane. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, it's, yeah. it's, it's insane. Um, but he didn't I want mean, to do it anymore. So, so he goes, so you got to spend his wishes. <laughs> 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 you could, I mean, how long could you get away with a lookalike? Right. I thought about it. I mean, you've got, I thought about it. And how long can you get away with, uh, Wait he's a sick minute. again. Just do. Yeah, people have hey, said that Zach you looks you like you kind of fit the fit the bill. Put me put me in there, coach. <laughs> Throw him in a. You're wig. not as cheery as he is, though. Yeah, well, I don't <laughs> at least think on he camera. Is, I don't think he is anymore either. <laughs> you know what? I don't think he is anymore either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I went to Jonas Kebabs for the first time the other day, and yeah. him and him and Jeff's orders are right next to each other. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "All right, Jesus, yeah. I get one of each." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Jeff's on the wall there. Yeah, yeah. I saw Jeff. I saw Jeff at the. Um, I don't want to say. Have the you gym. had him on? I don't want to say where we were, but I saw him at the gym, and um, and it was great. We talked twice in one hour. <laughs> Not, that's how you know you're living. So we right. came over. He, I came over and talked to him for a bit. He was cool, and then he came and found me later and talked to me more. Right. And um, I saw him at a Whitney Cummings roast. Did you say hi? Yeah. We talked for a little bit. Yeah, yeah seems whole, it, the whole thing is it's it's really, it's it sucks. I was really close with him. Yeah. Right, you know. Um, no, I, I miss Way you to bring the all... fucking mood down, man. <laughs> I miss you guys yeah, all seriously. making content together. That's you know just not a picture. What yeah. do you think about the whole like Snapchat renaissance of? Because you know, like it used to be the videos you get together, and at the end you maybe have like an art piece. But right now. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's definitely, we can just. Hold on. It was never an art yeah, piece. Yeah, it was never. Never. <laughs> Jonah covered in peanut butter with his head shaved. I don't know if it was that's an, an art, art piece. That's an art piece. Yeah. I don't know if it's an art piece. Painting. It's a YouTube video. But go ahead. Yeah. I, I know where you're going. No, no. I'm just kind of wondering, like, this isn't putting anyone down at all. I understand the money aspect. But when it just seems to be a little bit more for the money with the Snapchat thing, does yeah. that. Um, does, it what, bum, does it bum me out? Yeah. yeah. Compared to maybe, um, like, the bits and the. I mean, I would love to, like. You guys make, to, I would love to make videos, yeah. but no one's making videos anymore. And then we're trying and like, it's like, I don't have, I don't have like the, the things that we try to do. They don't hit the same because David's not posting anymore. Gotcha. So it's like, we put a lot of effort into this. My videos are way better now because Ferris edits them and shoots them. Mm -hmm. And then they just don't do as well as three years ago when I was shooting and editing them and they sucked. Like yeah, they were right. literally like, guys, what's up? I'm at the mall. Mm -hmm. 20 minutes. Yeah, they were like Long 20 minutes, <laughs> and I'd get like 500,000 views. That's super endearing to me, though. Like, it, 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 I guess I, I think so, too. I, I like the... Like, You're I not like going to sit there and watch it. No, I, I, <laughs> I feel like I used to watch it. Um, it's To go it's, to sleep. I, I kind of love videos like that, because I, like, I love YouTube premium. Like, I'm one of the chumps that pays for that. But <laughs> right. I will just, like, lock my phone and listen to a, mu or a YouTube video, like mm -hmm. a podcast, yeah. wh whether it is or not. Yeah. So you're, uh, so I guess the next phase, you're transitioning. I know you've already done it for a while, but the stand-up's, like, your next. I'm maybe, trying, yeah. That's that's what gets you, gets you excited? Yeah, it gets me really excited because stand-up's, like, really good, too. It's, like, a great way to, like, develop maybe a show. Yeah, 100%. Or, or like, ideas or jokes and... and um, and I, I like it. I, I like I like going out on stage, and the money's good. And um, is that your ideal is maybe to create a show, be a showrunner type situation, act in a show. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe come up with a show or be, be in a show or do like a Kirby enthusiasm. That would be my ideal. Yeah, I just kind of wonder what's when will somebody make like an A twenty four quality movie, pair up with a Mr. Beast, and just put it out. Oh, that's right. interesting. Like, at what point will something get nominated that's been on YouTube? Does that completely change the game? Well, I don't think what Mr. Beast does would ever be A24. nominated in, no, in that but, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm talking about, like, no, like, maybe he just partners with someone, hey, I want to make a movie. This is a movie, uh, and he I, just posts it. Well, I think that the only way that happens is in 20 years when people who watch Mr. Beast are in the Academy. And they're like, oh, he deserves... So and that, basically what I'm saying is when everyone gets dumber, that's when people are going to eventually be like, oh, we should put... 
you know, no, influencers in. Or any of I think you're like misunderstanding. I think I might be. Saying. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might be. <laughs> He's saying like, Mr. Beast has all the resources. What if someone was like, let's make a movie. And oh, like, right. okay. it's like an actual movie, but like Mr. Beast like produced. Is that what you're yeah, yeah. saying? Like, right. actually, Instead of putting it in a theater, they just post it. Imagine they just posted channel. Parasite oh, right. on his YouTube channel. Right. Yeah, you get like a hundred million, two hundred million views. Right? Um, Would it though? You're kind of doing that I already so. with streaming, right? Because like The Irishman back t ten years ago, that would have been like huge, like in theaters and like yeah. De Niro, Pacino, all that stuff, Scorsese, and it was just dumped on Netflix and yeah. like people they don't know if people saw it. Oh no, yeah, that's I what mean, they're. But that's what I'm saying. It's kind of decentralizing even the streaming platforms because now you have yeah. to have a twelve billion platforms to watch whatever you want to watch. Mm. It's literally cable again. Yeah, it's like, oh, yeah. I got to subscribe to every single thing. But more yeah. expensive. Um, more expensive. Um, they thought they were fixing it, but now it's like, if you don't have everything, you know, you're missing out on something. Yeah. Um, I, saw a, I saw a really interesting TikTok the other day. This guy goes, um, he was out at the strike lines, and he goes, um, okay, so in the, in the 1980s, he was going after Bob Iger, who runs Disney. He goes, in the 1980s, the CEO made 30 times what the lowest worker made. Yeah. Now, it's the CEO makes 100 times. Yeah what the lower worker, lowest worker ma makes in that business. And he was basically saying like, you know, if you, th Mr. Iger, like if you think this is okay, you know, you're a piece of shit, you know, yeah, basically. Yeah. And um, I don't know, what do you guys think about that? No, yeah, I, I 100% you think, know where they're coming from. But then what's, what's the solution? Bob Iger gives back some money? Well, <laughs> I think, is well, that, who was it? I don't know if it was that's Bob not gonna Iger. Fix, like, because it's a much bigger money issue than his money. But if he wants the respect of the people, yeah. like, it's not like his get, giving back the money is not going to change the money for everybody else. But him, like, taking a step back, I think, would make everybody else feel better about the situation. Right. Maybe it would. Um, Same while, thing while also the, increasing their wages or whatever it is. I don't know what studio executive it was, but one of them in, like, from last year to this year in bonuses just had, like, a, 24 million dollar pay increase right you know, which is just astronomical on top of like already like a 20 million dollar salary yeah you know and so it's like that's that's ridiculous you know right. that um, is, yeah 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 but then the other thing is like it's um that's capitalism yeah that that is our like you know you guys get paid really well for the dropouts <clears throat> right no <laughs> what's up no. what's up you don't no no definitely not yeah, come We're on. We're supposed to be getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> we don't take any money out of it. We play our employees. I mean, I think this How is how many employees you got? Two. This two. is. I mean, it's a humble thing to say. Like Alyssa makes more than Jared does. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Like on a per month basis. Yeah. Oh my god. Don't don't <laughs> let Jess and Ferris hear that. <laughs> <laughs> there was another great TikTok that I saw where the woman goes. <laughs> she broke down really what this is all about, which is, um, this is not something about studios and stuff those studios are dead this is about tech companies oh, Th yeah. this is about spotify came in and they were like you used to buy an album for twelve dollars spotify is going to give you everybody's album for twelve dollars now yeah. right gone okay so now the, they're not getting paid mm -hmm. uh uber right uh you can have a personal show for for twenty dollars right so the worker gets fucked there uh same thing with doordash the food comes like and and that's what this, that's the same thing that Hulu and Netflix are doing. They're just basically saying like, yeah, it's, it's, it's just, so it's, this is so, this is a problem with Silicon Valley is what yeah. this is. Yeah. Um, I, I'm just wondering, I mean, yeah, cause now it's just a volume basis. Like they don't care if the movie's as quality, as long as it gets all the views. Yeah. I mean, um, I'm kind of wondering. Well, that's how I feel when I watch those, like any movie with the rock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> those feel like they're generated by AI. Yeah. The scripts do. <laughs> The whole premise does, I mean, it's the most recent, I want to throw movies under the bus, but I guess the most recent Ant-Man. Yes. Love, love Paul Rudd, love oh. certain Marvel movies. I felt like I was watching death, like just yeah. the complete death of, of just movie making yeah. and just art. Like it's just gone. Like it felt everything was made in the computer, the script, the special effects, even they were just standing in front of a green screen the entire time, just looking at something that's not there. Yeah. And it's just, all right, get this shot. We're going to do the most basic coverage. And it just felt like so empty. And yeah. I feel like that's how I feel even watching like some of those, what you're talking about, those Netflix movies. Or this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> or just like the fact that like influencers get movies because they sure. have big followings. And like I've heard yeah. like other like people on TikTok, like actors talk about how like they didn't get roles because they didn't have a large enough following. But like, so they're that still I'm okay set. with. 
<laughs> no, because that, that like is always that that, me. But let's think about it. Let's think about no, it. Is my daughter going to watch the the teen comedy with uh, the actor who she doesn't know or with Addison Ray? She's going to go. She's going to she's going to go. But she's going to be Addison just, is in a movie. And I, I get see. why they're doing it though. Like you said, it's about the views, not the quality. Like yeah. if someone has a like that was Zach that said that. But oh. I think that's okay. <laughs> views, not the quality. But like if someone has like a huge like skill set and they've been training for years and is an amazing actor versus someone who just like blew up on TikTok well, see, and like I don't, has I don't no believe skill. there's that much difference in in in. I you, take, you take Addison Ray's movie. I'm not talking about Addison. Okay, well, whatever. Okay, let's, like, not, let's not talk about Addison because she's great. But yeah, she's better come in next. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm just saying, in general, like there's a lot of people that get put into films, and you can tell they're not good actors, but they're put into films because they have large followings versus someone who probably has no following and is right. actually like trained in what they do. And you can tell the difference between well, th- those are, those are quick shots though. Those are like one and dones because you get the opportunity if you have a big following. But if people, if it's a sh- movie other people who fund movies see that and they that's go true. we're not gonna f- put him in you got your shot you're out like that's really what it is you get the, your foot in the door but then you get kicked right out of it because you're and not good it gets like a lot of it, views what but then you I just mean, continue making crap i think like sure a lot I, have of a, views. Right. I have an interesting question because you guys like movies okay so th- i don't know if this is because i'm old or if because like movies are just like crazy like no one knows what movies are mm-hmm. we, we were we were watching a preview oh we went to the jennifer lawrence movie which is pretty good right. and there's a preview for uh, Zendaya has a new movie out where she's like a tennis instructor. It's about a love triangle thing. And then they go like, we're watching the trailer and I'm like, oh, cool. This looks cool. Like, I like Zendaya, whatever. And then they're like, Zendaya. And I'm like, cool. But then the other two guys, they're like, Chad Wallaby. <laughs> you know, and they're like, Brandon Sarcophagus. You know, yeah, like, right. and like, I don't know who the other two leads yeah. are like it might as well be jared and zach you know <laughs> i think more people know you guys there we go Do you know what i mean yeah, like yeah, yeah. it also feels like ai is generating new celebrities <laughs> yes because i don't know who anyone is okay anymore. so you're young and you yeah. don't know who people are no, either right not at all no do, do you know these do you know the movie i'm talking about yes Jess? but the whole thing is that like you don't every single big person you know at one point was someone you didn't know so like i it guess so and like they're starring along zendaya so the movie's probably going to do well and they might get like Right, you know, because someone after the trailer for movies, you'd be so psyched for the trailer. Margot Robbie, like, Brad Pitt's got a new movie. George Clooney's got a new movie. Well, Sandra I mean, Bullock's got a new movie. But like, Margot Robbie was like a small character in what was it like the Time Traveler's Wife with Rachel McAdam? Like she yeah. was, she was a lead. She was a tiny little character, like applying sunscreen in like. Like whatever. But but that's like, what I'm talking about. I'm talking about movies ra- with these are the two leads. These are the three leads, and the two of them I've never heard of. <laughs> Like, but do you know I these guys? Like, well, I think well, it's, that's because yeah. every other A-lister in Hollywood is in Barbie and or Oppenheimer right now. Yeah. Do you <laughs> know, know Mike Face and Josh O'Connor? Do you have you heard of these guys? No, no, no. But okay, but going off what I was saying, nobody knew Margot Robbie in Wolf of Wall Street, and she was a main character, and then it blew her up. The, yeah, the model she was good in Wolf of Wall Street. You the don't know what now. these yeah, people are good. Yeah, but she wasn't in though. the trailer. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't show you the trailer for Wolf of Wall Street and go. Oh, yeah, they probably did. They probably did say Mar- Margot right. Robbie. Well, yeah. whatever. All right, guys, that's our show. Thank you so much to the Dropouts for being here. Zach and Jared, go. We'll link their podcast below. Go watch their episodes. Ray Romano they've had on. They've had Bobby Lee on. They've had uh, Matt, 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 Matt Rife. Rife. Matt Rife. That one, that one We've stings, had you on. It? We've had me on. Um, yeah, that one stings. Because we, Matt, <laughs> Matt Rife canceled twice here. Good, good, oh, <laughs> nice. good, good for him. <laughs> that means he's which, doing really well. I want to say, I want to say, like I didn't say this in the other episode. I get, I understand. Like he's he's busy. He's, he's busy. in the stratosphere. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. I understand. I really wasn't hurt by it, but it was <laughs> it was just funny to bring up. Wait, I have one last question. Did yeah. you both you guys drop out of school? No, I I dropped out of college. She he dropped out Middle of school? nothing. He uh, finished college in two years instead yeah, of four. I actually finished early. Okay, yeah. so I only know. you're the two. I, I, so I, if you watch I'm, dropouts, it's just for me. I like <laughs> to say now that I like dropped out of my parents' expectations, um, just oh, yeah. because they fully expected me to have like a real job. And if you're in New York City, July 27th, please come see us. We're trying to convince Jason to come as well. Yeah, go see these guys at City Winery on July 27th, and come see me on Saturday. This will be out. This is, oh, this is already out. This won't <laughs> be out till Monday. Okay, so come see me in, in Ohio, uh, t- Toledo, and Columbus, Ohio, uh, on the 29th and 30th. Is that Why not is? Cincinnati? Huh? Why are you snubbing us? I mean, I'll I'll co- I'll come over. Oh, come. I love. I I can I can't come over because I'm, <laughs> I'm I'm barely here and I'm barely. I got to see my kids at some point. Let me just get these dates some point, right. It's fine. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll be at Columbus, Ohio, July 29th, and Toledo. 
Ohio, July 30th. So um, go to jasonashtour.com and go buy tickets. Where do they buy tickets for yours? Um, and the little link in his, his description. Yeah, yeah we'll, 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 have we'll put a link there link. for City Winery. And go follow Jess on uh, Twitch. It's Jessica Sukier, C-U-K-I-E. Only fans, not yet. R. No, what's that? No, <laughs> I literally got, every time I Instagram, I get like at least like three comments like, when are you starting your OnlyFans? So, well, yeah, yeah, so soon. Yeah, so soon. No, I will not. I do not have an OnlyFans. Not yet. Okay. She said, I will. I do not. <laughs> <laughs> I do not have one. All right. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye-bye.